I know somewhere low key you might even be feeling that Adna Nash Nareshwar energy inside you. Yes. Is it something you're conscious of? And if I if I say the word God to you, what do you visualize? I see God in everyone. That's the beauty of it. Mm. I see God in everything and everyone. There's a reason why we are here. There's a reason why we're having this conversation. For me, that's an experience. I honestly think that in our mythology, in our history, in our culture, when people say this is not in our culture, but the आपने कौन सी books पढ़े? This is basically bad conditioning. इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि आप इंसानी खराब हो. So my thing is that I see God in everyone, you know, and even some some gods also have made mistakes that has been written about, you know. And there's a beautiful saying which I have to keep re-bringing into yeah. this show. God is also a being that's constantly evolving. Yes. Yes. Why do you think God has so many avatars? Tell me. So discovering himself. And also so many facets. Mm. So many verticals. Why do you think Lord Shiva had Ardhanareshwar also for that matter as as one of the avatars to show the duality? We don't want to respect that and we want to say that nay nay no transgender is not part of it. ये तो हमारे कल्चर में नहीं कौन सा कल्चर की बात कर रहे हो आप आपको हक किसने दिया है हु द राइट हैव यू हैड अ टेलीफोनिक कॉन्वर्सेशन विद गॉड दैट आई एम नॉट अवेयर अबाउट मेरे को भी नंबर दो इट्स लाइक किससे बात कर रहे हैं आप और किस बारे में बात कर रहे हैं आई एम वेरी रिलीजियस दिस इज दुर्गा इट्स सो स्ट्रेंज यू ब्रिंगिंग अप दुर्गा मैन यू नो आई वेयर आई एम आई बिलीव दैट गॉड इज इन मी गॉड इज इन ऑल ऑफ अस हु आर यू सेइंग हु इज नॉट रिलीजियस व्हाट इज दुर्गा फॉर For me, Durga is uh, epitomizes power, epitomizes strength and conviction. For me, Durga is also the name of my drag child. My queer child is also Durga, and uh, but Durga for me is every strong representation of women that have fought all the odds to overcome it. My mother, my gran, emotional. Say it, say it. You know. all the female strong female characters and 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 inspirational figures in my life are durga for me same same yeah my sister my mom all of them yeah. your sister your mom also for me because they have all gone through shit that we can't think of they can you can't even think of it i keep saying this even though i have my, the female energy in me i know i'm non binary i have that female energy i will never be able to go through even a single day what a boom female goes through. i got i know that that is why i respect women because women are the creators of humanity we without women there's nothing there's there you can't it's just biologically impossible so we all need to respect women and every woman is durga saraswati lakshmi everything yeah. for me i had a terrible breakup 2 years ago and that led me to just losing trust in women mm. right and that was my own journey and very soon that started to get sorted out when i i met women who were who had a cleaner heart than the person who had broken my trust women who were more healing than the person who had broken right. my trust i was in rishikesh and uh, that whole that whole vacation for me i remember i left i left my house upstairs and i prayed before i left because i found out something about my ex okay which hurt me um and i was just praying and i got this intuition that this particular vacation will be deeply spiritual for you and i went through the whole vacation bits of it definitely were but i didn't find that um i didn't find the answers i was looking for mm-hmm. and on the last day we were there this guy comes up to us and says you know right outside rishikesh one hour two hours from here there's something called the kunjapuri mata temple again this is like something um uh, from hindu culture we have a culture of shakti peeps in this country which are supposed to be like portals of intense divine feminine energy right sounds like sounds like that <laughs> when you when you just yeah, hear yeah, these words yeah, yes and you need experience it it's it's again not a religious thing you need to go there and see what you feel yeah. all all spiritual places it could be a darga a church a temple yeah. they all hold intense spiritual energy and they hold different identities of it um so i i the moment i heard him say kunjapuri mandir i was like okay i need to go see it because maybe this is what the whole vacation there uh and you usually go to the kunjapuri temple for the sunrise there so we left at 4 am you drive through a jungle You know, we reach there when you're kind of seeing the skies change in right, color. Yeah. You walk up and it's a pretty long walk. It was winter, so it's cold. Oh you're walking up and you're feeling that energy increase. You go there 
the temple is made of like stone it's got like a stone floor mm. you're supposed to remove your chappals mm. it's freezing cold you feel like you're walking on ice but it's purity that you feel walking towards the main center and the main center of the temple they've got this like they say it's a perpetual fire that keeps burning right so the legend of the shakti peet was that um if you know the shiva shakti story mm. shiv ji was married to um a lady who was she was a princess mm. and her family didn't accept the fact that she married shivji because he was an asset uh, he was a sage yeah and sages were looked down upon as no no you know he's he's a hermit mm. he wears like animal skin mm. and lives in the jungle um so she said you know i don't care and i still want to get married to him. Mm. uh eventually her father called her back to their kingdom to mm. for a function and shivji wasn't invited mm. and at the gate of the function they built a sort of murti of shivji and mm. said that oh that's just a watchman's murti to make fun of oh. her husband oh. and out of the embarrassment they said that she jumped into fire uh and then that's why that's why the word sati sati is a whole different conversation so oh, let's okay. not even get yeah, there yeah. but that's where the word sati arises out of that um she sacrificed her, her life for the love that she held in her heart oh. when he found out that this had happened he went into his most angry state right and he did the tandav yes he carried her body around the indian subcontinent mm-hmm. and wherever her body parts fell uh that's where they say the shakti peets arose it ha- held her heart chakra like a heart oh. chakra and her breast had fallen on the kunjapuri temple oh um coincidentally heart chakras get broken when you go through bad relationships yeah. or when you go through any kind of heartbreak right i was deeply heartbroken at that point in my life I'm walking up to that central fire and I can ju- I can even feel like how the cold floor like healing me. Oh I sat God. there surreal man. Yeah, the, the pandit's like doing his chants and I went into like this deep meditation. Yeah. I don't know what entered me in that temple. I don't know what I went through, but I came out healed, definitely healed yeah. with a certain amount of respect for women. Yeah. I remember going back to Bombay just hugging my mom. <laughs> Saying, so thank sweet. you for thank you for going through. I, it was just yeah. perspective. I, I guess. Yeah. Sometimes these energies hold information as well. 